Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mari Dominguez and you're watching a little bit of everything. On today's video, I'm going to show you how I made these very splashy, blingy, flashy, I don't know what else to call them, pedestals. I'm going to be using these as risers for centerpieces for my upcoming 50th birthday bash. What do you think guys? Is it blingy and splashy enough? Let me know what you think. So, without further ado, let's continue on with this video. So for today's project, we're gonna be needing the following items. As you see here, I have two of those corrugated tubes. We're gonna be needing hot glue gun, glue sticks, pair of scissors. I have a black poster board that I got at the Dollar Tree. Also, the black acrylic paint and paintbrush from the Dollar Tree. And you see a little bottle there of regular water-based black paint. The bling wrap. And I think that's all. So with that being said, let's continue on with this video. Hi, guys. One of the things I forgot to mention was that we were going to be needing a box cutter. With this box cutter, we're going to cut out from the poster board a circle shape to cover the bottom or the top, whatever it is, part of the corrugated tube. So here we go. Be careful when you're cutting, you know. When you're taught to use a box cutter, they always say cut away from you, but we can be so bad and do things in the wrong way. So don't mind me, guys. Cut away from you. Don't forget. We're almost done here. Don't forget to lock it back into place just in case you don't want tiny hands if you have any around the house to get a hold of your box cutter. All right, so you can just play with it, but also if it needs a little bit more cutting, because as you can see, I'm using the countertops. I'm still in the kitchen, guys. Hopefully soon I'll have my she shed or a better space. Who knows? Working on that one. And be very careful you don't cut yourself. And see, it's almost completely. You can go to the outline on the back part of it also and just finish cutting off and voila, there we go. A little circle shape here okay now since we're going to be painting these puppies you want to make sure that you lay out some paper you don't want to damage anything okay now we're going to take that water-based black paint this is like the paint they have in school for the kids and i think you can find also that water-based paint in in dollar tree or any craft store and you're just going to give one coat to your tube. Well, in my case, the tube. You can use whatever you want for, for this project. But I'm using these little tubes because those have, that have been following me for a minute know that I like to recycle and repurpose. So, hence the reason I'm using these little corrugated tubes. What are they from? <laughs> they're from? They're from actual labels. And uh, I have a church member that works in a warehouse, and he can get them for me. So every now and then I'm like, hey, I need some tubes. And he's like, okay. And there you have it, guys. You do pretty things using something so simple, and you're recycling. You're helping the environment, and hey, everything Everything happens for a reason. Everything has a purpose. Reduce, reuse, recycle. That's my model anyway. And as you can see, 
It's going to look kind of weird. It's going to look like green or something, but it's actually black. But we don't need it to be perfect because we're going to be covering it then with the acrylic black paint. Okay, you see? And I also did do the, the lip here. All righty. And we're just going to sit that down and let that dry. But for video purposes, I had one ready for you guys. So let me get it. This one's the one that's already been painted and it's dry, nice and dry. Let me put this one over here. And now we're going to take the acrylic paint. I got this one at Dollar Tree. Jot, guys, jot. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So we're just going to put that one there and we're going to paint over the water based paint. You see how different it's already looking? More black. Just like we want it to look. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because this will be covered with the bling wrap, okay? So, you just want to make sure that you get um, as, much as, as much as possible, a nice, even coat. And... Put it to dry. Now let's get that lip also painted. There you have it. See, nice and black. Now we'll put that one to dry. And yes, I have one ready to go, once again, for video purposes. But I am going to be making like 10 of these, okay? See how nice and black and shiny that looks? Yeah, nice and pretty. All right. So, this is what we're going to do now with this. Oops, sorry guys. I forgot to mention that. You see the little white part here from the poster board? We're also going to be painting that, okay? So, we don't want it to look white when we cover the, cover the cylinder, okay? So thanks for reminding me. I heard you guys. What about the poster board? Yep. All right. So. Almost done. And that'll dry pretty quickly. Put that on the side and let it dry. Okay. Now. Voila, for video purposes, there's one already done. So, we're going to now use our hot glue gun and glue sticks. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put some glue on the top here, the lip here of the cylinder too, and that's where we're going to paint. I mean, paint. That's where we're going to put this circle on to cover it. You see? And that hot glue gun. Hot glue, guys, you know that like dries fairly quickly. So there you have it. See? Covered. Now what we're going to do, I have pre-cut. I have pre-cut the, uh, the bling wrap. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to put this on the, on the side, right? And we're going to start hot glue gun. Hot, oh my goodness, I'm tongue-tied today. We're going to hot glue the bling wrap 
to the cylinder. I'm going to do like a little line first, okay guys? So we'll do like the first one right there. And yes, as you can see, it doesn't reach all the way to the bottom. So I do have some more here to finish it off also pre-cut so we're just going to be adding that down and we're going to be just hot gluing it around the cylinder here okay so just be very careful you don't burn yourselves and you're just going to go around and around Let me put some more glue here and we're going to go around and around not going to do like every single strand but just enough to make sure that the bling wrap stays in place okay okay that's how it's looking so far nice and shiny right now you do want to make sure you get some extra glue up on that edge on the top but other than that, you don't have to use blobs of glue, okay? Because you don't also, also you don't want it to like see through from the uh, the bling wrap here, okay? Because it is black, and unfortunately, sometimes you can see those little um, the glue from any project when in, you're using it on something that's black, so it's like you know kind of showy, and you want it to be showy. And we're almost done. We're like halfway through here. Try not to be too quiet so that, you know, but sometimes, like, I'm so concentrated on what I'm doing that I forget to speak. Sorry, guys. Now you're probably wondering, why am I doing this? Well, for those of you that have been following me for a while, you know this year I celebrate a big birthday. It's my golden birthday. And so I'm going to have a nice party. And these are the pedestals for my centerpieces for my birthday bash. So yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I, I mean, who would have thought that when you're a kid, you're going to say, I'm going to be 40 years old. I'm going to be 50 years old. You know, it's like, yeah. and it's actually an achievement. And I'm like, wow, 50. And I feel good. I know I don't look bad for my age. I probably could look better, but I don't look bad. And, you know, and I'm excited. I'm happy to be turning 50. I know that um, a lot of people didn't make it that far, and I am blessed to have actually reached this milestone coming soon, so yeah, I want to celebrate it nice and, and big and flashy and splashy. We'll see how it works. I mean, I'm doing my best to make it look like that, but we'll see, we'll see. But you guys will be here with me because I will be making like the centerpieces and whatnot um, here as video tutorials. So you'll be with me almost every step of the way, okay guys? Well, at least I hope you will. And so, like I said, these are the pedestals. They're going to be the 
to elevate my center pieces. So I'm going to be elevating my center pieces. Alrighty, guys. So this is done. Look how pretty that looks. Doesn't that look nice and blinky? I'm so excited. Nice and gold for my golden birthday bash. Ooh. Anyway, guys, as always, I thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel. And uh, don't forget to hit like, comment, share these videos with your friends, your family. Think anybody that might be interested in, in my little um, knickknacks or, or tutorials here. And, uh, and I thank you. I thank you for subscribing. And I thank you once again for tuning in and hope to continue to do so more often than not anyway. So as always, thank you for watching and blessings to you all.